So, uh, uh, so today's session is regarding the industrial product. So we will uh, uh, quickly go on to the product line which we uh, cater, uh, and uh, further we will uh, share about the new uh, product uh, product lineup which has been uh, introduced and uh, included in the uh, dynamic system. So uh, before going through this, uh, this is the first product lineup, uh, which is Fujifilm Computed Radiography System, uh, which consists of a scanner, a viewer, and our own CR phosphor imaging plates. Uh, if I'm talking about the scanner, then the range of the selected scans getting provided are uh, 24 micron, 50 micron, 100 micron reading pitch. Uh, excellent noise ratio, uh, which can uh, go up to the highest class specification, wide dynamic range, uh, and uh, very high spatial resolution of about 40 micron, and very high degree of accuracy compared to the conventional radiography image, and easy to use as it doesn't contain more uh, space and you can use it in the office environment. The second one is the portable DDA system. So it's uh, a very handy port uh, digital flat panel detector. So uh, it's, it weights around 1.8 kg and maximum to 3.2 kg depending upon the model. And it can uh, tolerate the load up to 150 kg. The pixel size is 100 micron and IPX4 grade. You can connect this uh, detector in both wireless and wired mode. So basically during the off-site off locations, we can use those up in the applications. Uh, the other one is the Fuji film uh, DDA system, which is the biggest uh, size panel. This is Dynamics FXR, uh, specifically for the high productivity and high volume inspection. Uh, it contains uh, the pixel pitch is about 100 micron and capable to of the energy level 15 MeV, and it uh, has a 16.6 uh, inch large active area. And we have our own uh, uh, Dynamics uh, own so own image processing software, which is Dynamics VU. So uh, coming up to the new uh, product line, which has been included are Dynamics system. Uh, the, which are the included are the two, one, two models, which are Dynamics FXR and uh, 3025 and Dynamics FXR 1621. So if I'm talking about the Dynamics FXR 3025, the pixel matrix is around 3028 and improved uh, productivity and high volume inspection. And uh, the pixel pitch is about 100 micron and capable of energy level up to 450 kV. So uh, for the applications like uh, tube inspections and the pipeline inspection, this would be a very good choice for a real time and online inspection. The second one is the uh, Dynamics FXR 1621. So it has an improved high productivity and high volume. Uh, it, it can be also used for the high volume inspection and it has a live image and frame rate of 15 FPS and capable energy up to 15 MeV. The pixel pitch for this one is 200 micron and the large active area of 16 by 16 inch. So if I'm trying to show all the complete family of the flat panel detector system, you can see uh, the uh, yeah, points which are in the yellow here, like for the two new launch. So if you see the, the radiation energy for 1621 is from 40 kV to 15 MeV uh, for the higher energy inspection job. And the other uh, model, which is 3025, has a two option, which is 225 kV and 450 kV. So depending upon the kind of the uh, application, you can select the models. And uh, the, uh, the interface for the 1621 goes uh, to on the optical fiber for the transferring the data. And the other one is the ethernet uh, connectivity. Uh, if I'm talking about the applications, so in various applications, you can uh, choose uh, depending upon the requirement, client requirement. So if I'm talking about the aerospace production here or the HPT or LPT or the body inspection, uh, depending upon the required specifications, uh, you can opt out for the two options as per uh, your inspection uh, procedures. The aerospace uh, can be uh, used with the portable DTA for the high productive inspection and so on. For the plant and the maintenance purpose, you can uh, go for the different different uh, options available. 
Further, I will tell uh, Namura san to continue with the server solution. Hmm? Me? Okay. Uh, I will Okay, uh, from this page, uh, we will introduce a server solution. It's a kind of so uh, software uh, uh, production. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, Santu san, please. I understand. So, please explain from you. Hello. Okay. So, uh, so uh -huh. the uh, in this uh, ideal uh, server solution system. Hello. Can you hear me, Namura san? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. So, uh, for the network type, uh, in the uh, with the server solution, you can be able to connect to the uh, complete data transfer system and complete data through different different side to a one stop uh, solution uh, with using the dynamics view server pc and uh, and transferred with the erp uh, applications and major uh, intranets uh, which are already available with the uh, uh, client or uh, client's uh, client location and then you can uh, share the data very faster compared to uh, the conventional uh, data transfer uh, management so uh, the server solutions uh, can be uh, connected uh, directly to the uh, server ar archival server and it's easy to manage the entire workflow uh, it can be controlled by the uh, central uh, site like uh, from the central it department and a remote viewing uh, solution is uh, viewing is available with the multi server solutions uh, the process management of this uh, can be also customized uh, depending upon the client's requirement so which is uh, making it as a very improved efficiency accuracy and this also help us to reduce the cost this is just a uh, work system integration uh, we are trying to show you uh, where if uh, all the data is data stored can be uh, controlled and continue completely stored in the central server in this area and the data can be retrieved at any terminal uh, on the location irrespective uh, after the uh, after connecting it completely to the fujifilm dynamics view server so you though you were sir i think santosh can oh he disappeared <laughs> okay okay I continue the server solution. Okay, already. So uh, he explained uh, the compose of the product. Uh, product. So I will explain uh, the advantage of uh, this server solution. So in the case, so customer using the conventional film, then uh, they when they want to share the uh, film images uh, with a supervisor or a corporate level C. So in, in order to check the defect is acceptable or not them. So, so transit of the uh, films, then it takes uh, one day or a couple of days. So when the press is uh, so distance, uh, from the uh, inspection site then. So if using this server solution, so they can share the image immediately and to solve uh, the uh, issues. That's the advantage. Okay, Santu san, so you come back and you can stay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. I, I explained the advantage of server solution briefly. Okay. okay please continue. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, due to the connection error, uh, I'm facing some uh, connectivity issue. So moving ahead, we have uh, one more option, which is called a single server solution. 
So in the single survey solution, you can see, uh, you can acquire image from the uh, different, different locations uh, to a single one-stop uh, one -stop installation where you can uh, acquire the image from one site and then uh, the image data will be directly transferred to the server and then retrieved or send an image to the inspection result wherever in the loca other locations using the view viewer. So this is one. Of, uh, so it, this is like very easy to manage the entire workflow and the data storage, and it also uh, help us to avoid the image uh, redu redundancy and it uh, in the process of the final assessment. So uh, uh, it, it it is more faster than uh, required for the uh, inspection uh, required as in the manual uh, process. The second option is uh, the multi-server solution where uh, you can connect uh, two different different servers on the different different locations and uh, it can manage the entire workflow uh, from two different different storage systems and uh, remote viewing is available from uh, other inspection sites for all the uh, flow workflow and uh, central uh, central of the server can be controlled by the uh, IT department and uh, so on it can be transferred so this will help uh, the uh, management system for uh, sharing the data uh, more faster compared to uh, the conventional uh, uh, transfer of the image uh, images uh, right now are going on so this is uh, this is making the workflow uh, very much faster compared to the conventional techniques so uh, going ahead uh, regarding the image uh, viewing software uh, we have the uh, RT imaging software named Dynamics VU uh, with version 2.3. So in the versions, the Dynamics software, the add-on uh, lineup is the Dynamics option. The actual uh, available options are Dynamics VU console for scanning the data, uh, Weaver for viewing and console Weaver as a common multi-application uh, software and server is what we had uh, explained earlier and again, we had came up with the option softwares here. So the option in the Dynamics option software, we had provided four different options available. One is the wall thickness. Uh, one uh, second is the data share, report share, and the judgment of the image which is acquired. So if I'm talking about the wall thickness, uh, you can see uh, in the option you just need to drag the uh, so pointer with the option of the wall thickness batch and then you can measure the thickness and the thinness part with a specified range and also uh, the advantage is like it doesn't only measure only one part but it also measures the thickness up to 20 batches like 20 reading like whatever the area you had selected from t1 to t2 so that thickness uh, there, there will be they will uh, the software will automatically calculate the 20 different different readings in the single uh, point which has been selected in the region of interest. The second one is the thickness estimation. So here you need to just need to give a, a reference of the actual thickness of the parent or the weld material, whichever you want. And after giving the uh, two, two, three different references, you will be able to give the uh, estimated thicknesses and from the constant, uh, from the area. Like suppose if I'm selecting any area like E1 here, and I'm giving the reference, so like this here, I had given three different different references. And once the references has been uploaded in the software, automatically the software will help us to provide the thickness estimation on other different different areas, wherever the point has been selected. So if the E1 is the thickness estimation position and the measurement result, then accordingly, uh, according to that, uh, the estimated thickness from uh, this area will be measured automatically by the uh, software. So this will help us to also uh, try and make us to understand uh, kind of a, we say in the different uh, inspection, like a depth or a thickness of a flat area. So in that way, we can also use this option uh, for um, estimating the thickness of the region of the interest. So second option is the judge option. So here you can make the record of all the radiographic uh, specific techniques what we had done and depending upon that once you get the image and on the image you can approve the image uh, with three options like you can accept or reject or hold and then you can comment on the image and uh, 
inspe you can input the following items uh, by the user. The user can input like example here I had mentioned like inspection point at B, and then the defect type. And depending upon that, you can mention the uh, what are the defect types. And uh, after inspection, you can accept, reject, and hold, and you can make the comment. So in the overall option, you can mention the details of the approved person name, judgment result, uh, the approved date, and the image parameter setting. So this traceability is required as per the MAI guidelines. So uh, according to that, uh, you can have this option available. And due to, uh, with this option function, you can also accept project Im image immediately in the software and reducing the time of the inspection. Third one is the dynamics report. So this is also uh, uh, one more uh, beautiful option where you can create a report of a image acquired. So in this uh, uh, report, automatically you will get the complete report consisting of three important factor points like traceability information of uh, when was this inspect, uh, image inspected, the judgment time, when was the inspection result uh, judge, uh, judged, and when what is approved, then the component information like what was the scan date, when was the uh, time, what was the thickness, and the image process parameter is used during the judgment. And also with the report, an output thumbnail image of actual image will be also attached in the file. The third one is the dynamics view share. So in this option, so it's like uh, once you acquire the image the main, from the uh, software, you can directly transfer the image uh, to your CD drive or a hard disk or a USB uh, with a patch of a viewer software function. So it will just not uh, share the image, but with the image, you will get a, a patch of a viewing software function where you can transfer the data. And once you transfer the data, you can open the image in different computer and you can view the image with the options, basic options available for the Dynamics View software. So the file shared using ViewShare can be opened in other PC and laptop without any installing the actual viewing software. So the function available, as I said, there are basic functions available for the uh, moving, zooming the image, moving the image, uh, rotating the image, then annotation function, basic annotation functions like measuring the typing, uh, typing on the labeling the images, labeling the region of interest, and basic measurement function like uh, ROI function to check the grayscale value of the image. So these are the basic functions which are option, uh, available with the option software view share, and this can be uh, available as a patch with the uh, view share option, and you can use those functions in your laptop without installing the actual viewing software. So uh, before going ahead, I will also share you one video to show how the uh, software works. So with the line and arrow or, the, uh, or different, different annotations, you can label the region of interest with the visible inspected area. You can label accordingly.
also there is an auto profiler where you can also directly evaluate the basic spatial resolution using the duplex wire so then you just need to drag on all the line pairs and automatically the software will calculate and it will go give the actual visible wire and the percentage depth this using the sstr option you can also calculate the signal to noise ratio of the image so these were the basic functions which we had uh, tried to uh, show show you like how the software works and how the uh, image inspection can be done very uh, easily at this spot uh, once the image has been scanned and acquired uh, so numbers on if you want to add anything more uh, in the discussion you can uh, proceed ah uh, yeah uh, today thank you very much so for attending our seminar so it's great pleasure for me to have an opportunity so so everyone so please contact us uh, we can have a demonstration by our uh, product cl dds software please ask us thank you thanks ningo san uh, also uh, would uh, request you to just visit our uh, visit our stall and uh, uh, raise your queries query and concern uh, for the uh, digital uh, imaging software we know that it's uh, this uh, platform may not give you the clear understanding on the software and the technical aspects but so you just uh, drop us the drop us your detail and we will be uh, connecting you to share you the complete details about the uh, fujifilm dynamics solution and uh, further we would uh, discuss accordingly uh, for what kind of uh, solution can be more uh, suitable and feasible for your applications uh, going ahead i think we have still uh, for 10 minutes so i would like like to run one more video uh, in which we will just uh, recap whatever the we had presented and uh, also we will share some uh, once again the uh, image software apply uh, uh, functions which were how how the basic functions for the inspection can be operated and it is uh, we will try to show how visually it looks on the screen
Santu sir, your time is up, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, the video is also over, huh? Thank you. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, please visit our uh, stall and uh, just uh, visit our stall and let us know uh, for the concern and the queries and the inquiries uh, for regarding the applications. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again for the beautiful platform provided.